Pixel wireless mic, UHF, 50 channels up to 100 meters up door, and one single charge, 10 hours. Perfect for your camera, cell phone, even have the connection, XLR, you can put it right in your mixer. Let's begin now. <music> Hey, how are you doing everyone? This is Dario from Media Box CNT. And if you need a wireless mic, perfect for YouTuber, Twitch, you want to be outdoor, you don't want to have any cables. Perfect if you have one of the cameras and you need a good mic for these type of cameras, or even for your cell phone, that will be one choice. So what we're going to do now, we're going to swap cameras and I show you what we get inside. All right. As we see here, we achieve wireless mic system. So we got the WM-9. This is a 50 channel. This one supports a uh, multi-channel and 100. And you can use a, a few transmitters at the same time. This one's only one. All right. So let's look what we get. Comes with a nice carrying case. I'm always keeping inside here when I'm using it. So that way you keep everything nice and clean. And right away, we get instructions, a quick car, and manual. So here we got the transmitter, the receiver, two antennas, the adapter for your camera and let's take all in one and we go over in a second all the adapters mic so xlr so you can put it right and your mixer the cable adapter between the receiver and the camera. That's the one you're going to put in the camera. The mic. The adapter for your phone. See? Now, if you get the new phones, you will have to get the C adapter to this. And the day card and another uh, protector for your mic. So. Let's put it all together. So this is your receiver. We put the two antennas. And this look over. So we see the two antennas, headphones, right over here. Only that will be for monitor. After you start recording, so in the beginning, I will check, make sure your button is fine, and then you can unplug it. Because technically, right, we don't want to be cables between your camera and and your uh, your headphones. The only way we'll do that way if you are the one who's recording, so that that you can use that. You have the headphone and you just monitor, and the other person has the mic. But if you're doing like a selfie type of thing, then it will become the hard. So that will be a good thing. Now then, we have the output that we connected to the camera, or let's say to the your mixer. And you can use USB cable, all right, to get power. So if you have another source of power, you can use that instead to use the batteries. We have two AA batteries. And here also we have the mix, a single channel and a mixed channel. We can use this too, all right? So that will be one channel, record one channel, use the second channel for something else for music, or you can use a mixed channel. So that's what we get there. Now, the transmitter. Mic. Mic goes there. We can see the light there. Low cut off, so it's a lot of wind. You can change it here. Again, two batteries. And we can use uh, micro USB, and that's what you put in your bell. Now, if you want to put this right in your mixer, you just go this way. Keep this right in your mixer. And 
keep that in your mixer in that XLR. If you want to go into your phone, you go this way. Now, this way we can connect it straight to the camera, or we go this way and we connect to the phone, or we have to use a C adapter in case you got one of your phones. Now, we're going to connect this into my camera. So there it goes. Go like this. Squish this down. Get the camera. Put this here with the adapter. Get it there. We can rotate this this way. So that's the way it looks. Let's get there. And then from here, we just go and connect it around the camera. In my case, I have to get an adapter for this. They use, it's more than a 1.8. So, and now you can use it for your camera. All right. Now, let's go over how to configure this or how the whole thing works. So get rid of the camera. And let's go back to the main. All right. So now we turn it on from here. Right away, we can see the battery and what channel I'm at, channel three and the headphones uh, output. What we can do, and you see the green line is on. Now, if we press once, let's press it up for a second, we can change the headphones volume. So if you manage it, you can change from there. We press one more time. Let's go back and cycle. Let's hold it. And that's the output level. So in case you too low or you think it is too much, you can set your value name, uh, output to make sure you are okay. And not too high or not too low. Now, channel-wise, we hold the one again. One more time. And we go to the channel. And this one will go up to 50. So let's default to one. We hold it for a second and it stays there. Now, that's the receiver. I'm going to turn on the transmitter. I'm going to put this in my, so we can, I can show you that. So we turn this one on. And here we show you the frequency. And we change it. Now, what you want to change it? Maybe you are in an area that is a lot of interference. That's why you will change it. So we hold it there. And we're going to go back to channel 1. And now I set to channel 1. Something like this. Now, if you pay attention now to the screen, let me press that one second. We can see there now. See, you see now when I'm talking, that's moving. So we get signal. And you always can put your headphones to change there and check. To you the frequency you can go up to 50. Now if you hold power for one second you mute all right it's blinking red to let you know and we can see right away it's mute. Now cut off is on you see there cut off is on let me take the mute out we can see here cut off on that was off I'm sorry that's on and that's off. All right, and if you want to change the uh, mix, it show you around the bottom. We can see two channels working. We press once again, and we only see one channel. Second channel will be to record music or some type of voiceover or whatever will be the case. It's very simple to use. I like it a lot. This is good when you have to mix right when you got to mix it with the camera because you have the duct that you put in the camera it's nice too because i have my my mixer i can use this with the xlr and maybe i don't want to have this mic in front of me i want to use something else some hand 100 percent hands free without this thing be it's just a different location or, or in the different times you want to use that or maybe you have a guest and that's good for the guest in my case i only have one in this mic so i have a guest I can just connect this straight in my mixer and give this to my guests. That's a good call too. Now, 
If you need more information in this product or you're interested about this, check the link below. Thank you.